Exotic animals that people can't take care of often end up in the care of Mr. Drew, of Mr. Drew and his animals too in Lewiston. He's with us today in the 207 studio with some exotic creatures. What do you have there, Drew? Well, I brought some hitchhikers with me. These guys <laughs> come into Maine via like house plants you might pick up in a, a department store like Home Depot or, or a grocery store or something. Uh, they hitch rides, they come from Florida. This one looks just like our native gray tree frog, the eastern gray tree frog, but it's called the Copes tree, gray tree frog. It's just different enough that if you don't know the differences, you won't tell. Most of it, it's by the trill they make. That's how you okay. tell the difference. So this guy is a hitchhiker. He came in on a plant. This one specifically came in uh, to the floral department at a grocery store, and uh, people <laughs> didn't know what to do with him, and so we ended up getting him. Now, could they survive here? Probably not, but again, this is a very similar species, so someone might release it thinking it's native. Yep. And I always tell people, if you're not certain, if it didn't come from out, you know, outside, don't let it go outside. It yeah. doesn't belong there. How about this one? That, no. uh, you said you want to leave in the box because yeah. he's kind of mobile and might. Uh, he's very move active. Here. He's very active. This is a Cuban tree frog, and now this one here, they can come start off small, and again, it comes in through the plants. It's different ways. On sometimes they'll hitch rides on RVs and things like that. They're found throughout Florida, but they're an invasive species in Florida. They're not from their native. Uh, they're highly aggressive and voracious. Is uh, not aggressive and mean, but they're voracious. They love to eat, uh -huh. and so they will eat other species of frogs and things like that and they're a big problem and these are also ones that hitch rides on plants and and vehicles and other ways to get up here so we end up getting a lot of calls from places like grocery stores and or people who bought new plants and stuff and uh We'll take them in. Yeah, so All don't right. be too alarmed because you've got somewhere to send them. Yeah, you get one. Yeah. just never know what's going to turn <laughs> up. Now this guy here. This is Mushu, he's gonna be a little nervous. These are water dragons. They're oh, commonly sold as pets. Yeah. And they very similar to an iguana. They are legal in Maine. They're an arboreal lizard. And that's where people go wrong with them, is they go and they get these because they're relatively cheap. And so what they do is they put them in a cage they think is right. And it's usually a low, long cage. And so what happens is if you look, he, He's kind of rubbed his face off. This one's Aww. not so bad. I've had some that are much worse because they try to get out of the glass. They want to go up high and they rub on the screens. They want to be as high as they can. As an arboreal lizard, they're much more comfortable up here than down here. And so these guys, again, you have to learn about them because they end up, we get a lot of these in with no face, I mean, literally mm. just bones exposed. Mm, um, so yeah, it's just learning about them and giving them what they need. Just because they're cheap doesn't mean you should go out and buy one. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Uh, All right. And you've got uh, one more. One more. We in, have in what we call the snake charmer basket. Yes. We have Hercules. <laughs> we could probably put it right up here. Yeah. There we go. It is in a, a snake is. basket. <laughs> or as I say, a dirty laundry basket. <laughs> and uh, this is Hercules. And Hercules is from Argentina. <gasps> and Hercules. Yeah, I'll put it right here for you guys. There we go. And Hercules is an Argentine boa constrictor. It's a subspecies of boa constrictor. His coloration is perfect for blending in with the leaves and stuff on the jungle floor uh, with the sunlight rippling through. Now, boa constrictors Aww. are the largest snakes we can legally own in Maine. Uh, this one's a subspecies. He's full grown. He won't get any bigger than this. Uh, the true red tail boas can get up to, the females especially, can get up to about 14 feet. Uh, this guy, he won't get any bigger. Very docile. Kids love him. He uh, used to being pet and touch and stuff like that. Just an amazing animal, not an aggressive thing. Uh, and again, in Maine, we have nine species of snakes. We have no dangerous snakes in Maine, so we don't have anything to worry about. They're all beneficial as long as they're native to the ecosystem. In all the bad comic books I read as a kid, boa constrictors would wrap themselves around yes. you and kill you. Yeah, and this one weighs 20. This, this one, could yeah. your snake do that? Nope, nope. This one weighs 20 pounds, and if he used all his strength, I could take him off. Wow. Uh, there are some snakes that can be dangerous, but this particular species, not so much. And again, he's captive bred, so he doesn't want to you know, waste his time and energy you know, on something he's not going to eat. I mean, these guys are very docile. And, and I work with them to get them used to be, because kids are going to touch them and stuff like that. So he doesn't want to so waste his time and energy on, yeah. say, 207 anchors? Yeah, you're safe. You're safe? We're you if you get better, you're gonna love the chin. Oh my gosh. Now, is there something 
about the scales here? Because in the right light, it almost looks like a rainbow yeah, effect is going on. Yeah, they have this beautiful on. iridescence, and if the sunlight hits them, it is gorgeous, <gasps> especially right after a shed and stuff. They're an amazing <gasps> animal. Hi oh, there, no how you doing? See Rob, see Rob, he likes you too. <laughs> this is heavy a little bit here. Yeah. Fascinating creatures, but again, these really aren't the best pets, and if you get a creature like this somehow, you acquire one, you really need to know what you're doing. You, you need to learn about them first. And that, it, I don't care if it's cat, dog, frog, lizard, horse, snake, bird. You have to learn about it before you get it. Mr. Drew and his animals, too, travels all over the state educating kids. If you'd like to find out more about his operation in Lewiston, just head to the 207 section of our website. I think Sam has a new friend. Yeah, say goodbye. <laughs> we'll be right back.